Okay, good evening. Okay, this is take two because I have such a hard time remembering the name of this bird. A peacock. A peacock. I've had this trouble my entire life between peacocks and, if you believe it or not, flamingos. I don't know why I get the two mixed up. I've never known why I get the two mixed up. Nobody knows why I get the two mixed up. So if that happens during this video, it just this is a disclaimer right now. I, I am, it's just me. I don't know why I do. Okay, peacock. All of the peacock images that I have for this journal, I got on Pinterest. This is some really wide, gorgeous lace that my daughter got me from Hobby Lobby. And she also got me this lace from Hobby Lobby. The paper is from a, oh, a stack I've had for years and years, and I'm not sure I don't have the front anymore. But it was purple, and she wanted purple. And colorful, and I hope I've done it, done it justice. And of course, I have not untied it, as you can see. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I've printed out the word journal with a type font that I love, and some book page behind it. I had a little bit of the lace trim left over, so I put some here, and there's some couple more places throughout the book where I have done it. Um, can I do it? Can I do it one-handed? This is, okay, this is some new stuff that she, my daughter found at Hobby Lobby. It's kind of like stretchy and fabric-y at the same time. It's kind of really cool. And it ties a little bulky, but it's kind of nice. I like it. It feels very soft. Okay, so eyelets for the closure. This is made from a clasp envelope, and here we go. It's one signature. It's a big signature, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. I got a book at a, an estate sale, and the cover, the dust jacket, was really, really worn bad. So I thought, I can't just throw it away because there's still bits and pieces that are presentable. So I cut out those bits and pieces, still really rough around the edges, and I backed it onto tea dyed index card and made pockets, a couple of pockets, and a journal card. So in this pocket I have this tag which has a vintage chair on it from a book about how to pick an antique. I guess an antique chair and some washi tape, and it's the closure for this piece, big piece of tea dyed graph paper, and fix that later, and then a large journal card, or tag, excuse me, isn't that beautiful? The background is a stencil bit of purple ribbon and she can journal in the back and then this is a, an image from Nick the booksmith and there's just random papers throughout little little notebook and stamp the back <coughs> this is a calendar page and this is an altered paper clip. It just, with the excess calendar page, I've made a pocket, but it was a bit loose, so an altered paper clip cured that. And then we have Tim Hulse's ephemera piece. She can leave it there, she can put it wherever she wants in the book as a tuck spot. She can journal on the back, whatever she wants. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the pocket. In it, we have a recipe card to journal on, and stamp the back, and this Artie Mays, a little journaling booklet, and a peacock, oh my goodness, that was close, a peacock. 
Here's some vintage lined paper, which I'm almost out of, and I'm very saddened, but it's beautiful. And I've made this piece. She wanted gold, and so I am a gold bronze color. I thought it was pretty, and it went well with the peacock. And it flips out for more journaling. Then we have a paper clip that is holding a Tsunami Rose mini file folder. And I punched the corners on this vintage typewriter paper. Some tea dyed note paper. Um, I'm trying my hand at Glimmer Mist. I've just done it on the music paper and it's kind of pretty. It's a pink one because I like pink. Then on the other side we have a tuck spot, a pocket, that I've made out of pattern paper, well cardstock, then pattern paper, then this purple ribbon it is so sheer on the outside edges, and in the middle, it's like a stretchy, uh, um, you know, it's elastic, like stretchy elastic. <coughs> Excuse me. And tucked in there, we have Tsunami Rose, one of her pages from her Charming Fragments kit. And I just shrunk it down, because it's cute. And then a doily imprint on the back. And then we have another gorgeous image. That white one against all of that color is just gorgeous. As a journal card. And then behind the pattern paper we have a little teeny journal card. It's good for putting dates on or address, um, addressing an event. Here's a Edith Holden book page. And then I just punched the edge. I taken a tea dyed envelope and then I've embossed part of it, gone over it with a little Tim Holtz distress ink, opened the end part of it, this tuck spot for a paint chip with lines on the back for journaling, and then left it open on the side. For this journal card and some more gold paper that she liked that I hope she likes I hope it's gold enough and then this is just a little piece of the lace left over from the cover that I thought went really pretty and some of the trim from the ties and we have this vintage book from the 50s about how to decorate your house and some of it's pretty interesting. Note paper. Here's some journal prompt paper. A tea dyed doily. Some paper that you can write. It's for you to write a menu on, but you know it has lines so you can journal on it. I loved the purples and the greens in this. That's why it's in here. This is a page. A picture that uh, I have in a book about paintings. So I cut it out and then I put it kind of tilted on this book page. I had seen Paula Lemon do that. Of course she sews around hers and it looks really cool, but this is as close as I can get to it. And then behind it, lift it open, behind is tucked a Hermelinda type tag with some extra tea dyed paper, and a butterfly punch. And then this is like a really big paper bag, and so there's a lot more room in here. And it's a journaling booklet with more of the pages from the How to Pick an Antique book. So you've got more chair styles. I think chairs are just awesome. I think they're really pretty art. And then I stamp the inside. My daughter got me some cupcake liners 
but these are like super industrial heavy thick ones. I tea dyed them and it wasn't until I ironed them that they finally flattened out. It was so weird. But okay, they'll last forever, right? And then we have a scallop circle punch and this cute little journal card. Some vintage book page. It's the 70s vintage. It's from the 70s. I feel that the 70s is vintage. I lived through the 70s. It was, it was vintage. Okay, then I've made this journal booklet with a postcard. Some Tim Holtz little girls. The sentiment faith. And then some crocheted lace trim at the bottom. And this is on a big index card. Lots of lines for journaling. This is another calendar page. Look at those colors. The purples and the blues. Doesn't it just scream peacock? <laughs> okay. I like to put pockets on the back of calendar pages. So, this is a pocket. Inside, we have note cards on back down to heavy cardstock for journaling. The same one as in the top one. And we have this gorgeous image of Peacock backed with some torn dictionary page. And then we left it open for this long tag with crochet charm. And there's some uh, sketch paper. And more of those colors. I love these colors. Here's the center of the book. And I've used the bronze gold and the gold gold for the butterflies. Here's the other side of the calendar page with another gorgeous image of the peacock. Back onto book page again. And I had a little, this is the last little piece I had of what was left over from the cover. And so I just added it on here because it was so pretty. And then we have another tag behind it with some crochet lace. And then we have two more note cards. This one has a little bunny on it. It's so cute. And the bottom one is the same. Look at that butterfly and those colors. Oh my goodness, it goes so well with the next page, which is another cupcake liner, tuck spot, the scallop circle, and a journaling booklet with this beautiful pattern paper and book page. And this image I just printed out on regular printer paper. It wasn't tea dyed. It wasn't coffee dyed, nothing. And then I just scrunched it all up and spread it out flat like I had done in a previous journal. And then I just went over it lightly with Tim Holtz Distress Ink. And it looks kind of cool. I like it. And then next page we have this beauty of a journal card. Okay, now let me explain this one. I got a bunch of these in an estate sale. I thought they were interesting. They're coasters, but they're made, they have a paper backing, they're made out of paper. And it has this quote on it, I guess. It says, the hurrier I go, the behinder I get. I thought it was cute, so I thought I would put it in here. So I used some red tape. I used some glue. I tried everything, but nothing would hold it in there very well. So I tried just pushing really hard to get the glue to adhere, and I accidentally ripped a little hole in it. But I punched an ant out with my hole punch, and so the ant fixed it. <laughs> But it still wasn't holding very well, so that's where the paper clip comes in. Okay, there, done. And it's holding in this gorgeous. It was a toss up, really, between this one 
and the one that I did use on the cover because it is so pretty. And then inside we have this journal card. One of those gorgeous flowers. The menu, which you're just going to journal on because, you know, that's cool. And then I have, I printed out these little teeny journal cards and thought, hmm. So they came in a set of six, so I ripped it in half. Now I've got a torn pocket tuck spot. And remember that page at the front of the front of the book. It's a pocket, and I used a jacket dust cover that was falling apart, and I used it for the pocket. Okay, here's another piece of it. Yeah, it's in pretty bad shape, but it makes a great journal card, which I backed this onto tea dyed index card, which I folded the excess over, like Paula Lemon showed us how to do, and then I added this purple trim and tucked in a tag, and you can still journal on all of that. And then I decorative edge cut it also. And also under there is a peacock feather. Isn't that a pretty one? I like that one. Another envelope. Open up the end with some more embossing. And a paint chip with lines on the back for journaling. And then on the side we have some more of that bronze gold with a peacock. See? I'm doing very good, aren't I? And now that I've said that, I'll probably mess up the next one. <laughs> Another, the other half of the music paper with the glimmer mist, if you can see it. And then again, with this tuck spot and the little bling, we have a Tsunami Rose library card. The peacock in all of his glory. My goodness. And this little tag. It goes right. I can do it. Okay, it goes right behind the paper. No paper. Another paper paper clip holding in. Tsunami Rose mini file folder. Another flip out, I guess you would call it. Isn't that a pretty one? And then flips open for more journaling. Another pocket, and this is an altered paper clip also. Yeah. And inside we have a recipe card stamped on the back. Hardy Maze. And that beauty. For a journal card. Calendar page. I just tucked the Tim Holtz butterfly. She can again she can put it wherever she wants. And then this was the worst of the paint, the worst condition that that jacket was in, that the dust jacket was in. So I just went with it. And with the index card, I just ripped somewhat along the same lines as the worn out spots were. I thought it turned out pretty good. This is another piece of extra journaling paper. this beautiful tag. This is um, not a stencil, it's a stamp, background stamp. With those beautiful uh, peacocks. 
Oh, that was close. That was really close. And this journal card for spring. And I do believe... Nope, I don't know where that's from. Okay, there we go. And that is my very first ever peacock junk journal. I hope it was okay. Thank you very much for watching, liking, and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye.